Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer. And do you remember who was the last pope before Pope Benedict XVI who resigned? The year was 1294 and the man was Pope Celestine V. He was canonized just 17 years after his death and today is his feast. Pope Celestine was the 11th of 12 children and drawn to a life of solitude and prayer, he became a hermit in the mountains of Italy at the age of 20. For the next 64 years, he lived a peaceful existence there and others joined him to form a small religious community. Then, in the year 1294, after two years without a pope because different factions of cardinals could not decide on one, Celestine wrote a letter to the conclave expressing his concern and God's displeasure. The cardinals then elected him pope and those who went to get him from his mountain found him, an 84-year-old man, red-eyed from weeping over the news. 200,000 people gathered to meet him as he rode to Rome on a donkey, with the king of Hungary on one side and the king of Naples on the other. It quickly became apparent that this simple and holy man, who knew little Latin and no canon law, was in no position to lead the church. In his solemn declaration of abdication just five months after his election, Pope Celestine begged pardon for his mistakes and asked the cardinals to repair the damage he had done by electing a worthy successor to St. Peter. St. Celestine tried to return to his mountain hermitage, but his successor forced him to remain in the Vatican, and that's where he died. He said, I wanted nothing in the world but a cell, and a cell they have given me. May St. Celestine now intercede for our popes and the church. Amen.